start it and like click somewhere. Whoa, sort of working. Welcome everyone to another graphics tutorial in C Sharp. And today, ugh, messing with blinds. Anyways, and today you're going to learn to animate the square that we did um, last time. It's a continuation of that tutorial. And I have done animated things before with, um, with, with pictures, um, but we're going to do a box this time. And so let's start by going over here to properties and go into actions. And then you want to double click, um, let's see, is it mouse click that I want? Um, no, we want, just a second, what is it? Oh, yes, yes, okay, it is mouse click, sorry about that, and you can just double click this like that, and it'll go to it, and I already have it made, so don't worry about it, or, um, you can also do click up here like that, doesn't matter which one we do it in, um, so yeah, to get started, we need to draw that box again. So on form load, let's let's make some variables here. I think I'm scrolled in enough here. Let's just scroll in just a little bit more. Okay, rectangle r equals. Actually, we won't define that yet. And then graphics g. So um, first thing we want to do here is define these. So r equals new rectangle um, zero and uh, let's do. 10. Start it at 10, 10. So a little off in the corner. And then we'll do a width of um, 35 by 35. Just like so. And then G equals this dot create graphics. Okay, we also need one more thing, and that's a timer. Um, timer T equals new timer. Actually, I think I can, yeah. I don't need to do that, but yeah do that. I could have done that down here, but and then we'll do t dot interval. This is how how much space is in between each um, execution of code. And so we want it to be like say 10 and then t dot start. So we're going to start that timer. And then we also need oh before that we will need a t dot tick action. And that's plus equals and then just hit tab twice and we got a new event handler here. Um, so we can just put the code that we want to execute every 10 milliseconds because we set it to 10 in here and starting here we'll start this code running so one last thing we need is um, dx equals 0 and 90y equals 0 now basically the idea of this application is I'll say click somewhere here on the form and the little box will move from wherever it is to where I am on the form. Alright, so here's what we need to do. Um, so this X and Y is actually going to be where the click action happens. So on mouse click, um, in fact I'll do it on the click because this is what I'm used to using. I, I don't know what the difference is between mouse click and click, but this is usually where I run it. So X equals, um, I think it's, you can do cursor dot position dot x, and then y equals cursor, you can also do mouse position, but I, I'm just going to use cursor right now, dot y, just like so, and then up here, we're going to go and begin drawing, in fact, to get this started off, Let's just get the rectangle drawn, so um, here on the form click, we'll just have it draw it really quick here. In fact, probably should put this, let's put this in the tick timer, because we need it to, to draw there. So, um, g dot draw rectangle, new pen, and then we'll do a brushes dot, and we'll, yeah, let's go with some some random, okay, corn silk. I don't even know what that is. And do a width of, eh, I want six, so that it's, it's bold, it'll be seen, and then R is our rectangle. So let's actually start this, and this should uh, draw it. Oh, that is very light, hard to see. Hmm, let's see. 
pick a different color. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? I know what I'll do. Leave that, and then here we'll do g dot clear um, graphics, and we'll do color uh, color dot um, dark blue. That way, the background will be a dark blue. Okay, so it, it blinks a little bit because I'm not drawing it to image and it's drawing it a lot. But you know what? That's good enough for now. Um, I'll do it a better way later. So we got it drawing right now, nice and, and clear there. Um, so what we want to do next is go ahead and make it move. So let's do another integer here. int move x equals 0 for right now, int move y equals 0 also, um, and then down here, no not there, down here, r dot x plus equals move x, oops, not move box, move x, uh, and then r dot y plus equals move y, just like that. Now, we need to also calculate for what <laughs> move x and move y needs to be. Um, and actually, we probably don't even need, hmm, we probably don't even need these, simply because we could calculate for them temporarily and then not have to worry about it. So, um, what we're going to do here is go, um, move, let's see, uh, we need to first figure out how much, what's the difference in x and y for these, um, so, hmm, so, okay, int, in fact, let's make it double, because we want decimals in here, double, um, um, let's, let's call it diff for difference in the x, is equal to, um, cursor dot position dot x um, minus r dot x perfect now double diff y is equal to cursor dot position dot x minus minus r dot y there we go now we have the difference, so like for instance, if if I click here and the box is down here, difference in the x will be along here, the difference in the y will be along here. So now we need to figure out how much of that increment we want to move it along each time. So let's say, let's just divide it by 10. So uh, move x is equal to diff x divided by 10, so 10 increments, or oh, let's just do 100, just because. Um, let's see, what's the problem here? Oh, to, yeah, of course. I've got to change the types over here. Um, change back to int, just like that. And then move y. Oh, not moved, move y equal to int, and the reason I'm doing this cast of int is because that way this uh, double value here will be converted into this integer value, and pixels are, there's no 0.5 pixels, um, they're all whole numbers, so you, you can't have a decimal, so that's why I'm doing that this way, but we need to calculate with a decimal, so diff y divided by 100. And then what we need to do is test it, I guess. Start it and like click somewhere. Whoa, sort of working. 